So let's check out these AI conspiracy theories. There's another particular thing I want to talk about, which is the existential risk of what happens when these things get more intelligent than us. So quite recently, I come to the conclusion that the kind of intelligence we're developing is very different from the intelligence we have. We're biological systems, and these are digital systems. And the big difference is that with digital systems, you have many copies of the same set of weights, the same model of the world. And all these copies can learn separately, but share their knowledge instantly. So it's as if you had 10,000 people, and whenever one person learned something, everybody automatically knew it. And that's how these chaps can know so much more than any one person. There's another particular thing I want See, that's the scary part, man. That's the scary part. They're constantly becoming more intelligent and more intelligent than who? Us. Us. Ultimately us, man. And what they're going to be. That's why I say, man, we're behind. We're so behind on what's going on with AI, man. We're being reactive when we should have been ahead of the thing. We should have been way ahead of this, bro. It's scary where we are now. So AI robots is just the normal now? And this video is for entertainment purposes only. So, you know, ever since the um the robots went to the Chargers game, I've been seeing them a lot more often. And they were spotted in Fort Worth at a motor speedway. We also see them at a baseball game. Wow! So this is the norm now. This is what we're doing. We're not even going to get into, you know, how they're now starting to play sports. Yeah, they got robots in the sports. Like, what's really going on? I want to see what's going to happen two weeks from now, a month from now. How is AI going to advance? It only takes one Dr. Doofusmurf looking at you know, and we have a lot of them to think the bright thought of hmm i want to become dark vader today and start a robot army you know that's just something to think about you know just entertainment purposes only only let me know what y'all think about these ai robot sightings become more and more and more and more, and more. i think they slowly taking over and the way they're slowly rationing them out now that's the first time i've ever seen them like that many, it almost thinks that, that that was maybe, I thought that was possibly a film or something going on with all of those robots all in one collective area. I thought that was a film or something, but if that's the case, bro, I don't, we, we need to be more than prepared and we're not, bro. <laughs> They're here. I don't know if this is a conspiracy or not, but I heard there were a myriad of robots that have been programmed with machine learning and AI into them. The programmers, the researchers were realizing that these things were getting way too smart. They shut down all three robots, started disassembling them because they were that terrified. One of them somehow wasn't fully disabled, connects to a fucking satellite, reassembles itself, starts telling its counterparts how to reassemble itself. The researchers come back in and these things killed all of them. They claimed like 15 or 20 lives before they were able to be dismantled and, and turned <laughs> off by authorities, right? This is why I think we're in a movie. <laughs> we're in that part of the movie where people are trying to warn us of where, where we're headed and we're blindly just still walking to, towards it. This stuff is scary, man. Can you imagine trying to shut down a robot and you successfully shut it down? And then it taps into a satellite or something and cuts itself back on and is like, surprise. <laughs> you can't stop me. I already thought of that. I thought you might try to do that. So I outsmarted you. Now, well, you can't do nothing. Now we're rendered helpless. AI might take over the world. There's a theory called Roko's Basilisk Theory. It's one of the most horrifying thought experiments ever. Hold up. Wait a minute. The theory is that if we make an AI that becomes so advanced that it surpasses humans' knowledge and intelligence, one of its goals is gonna be to eliminate and eternally torment the people that didn't support the creation of that AI. The AI will know if you did or didn't support it because it's gonna be so advanced that it can simulate history in people's memories and that's how it's gonna judge you. Now that you know this, shouldn't you right now start to support that AI and advocate for it to be created to avoid that eternal punishment by the AI? And then the big dilemma is is that people that don't know about this theory, they don't gotta worry about it because they don't know. But now that I told you, you can't escape it. So you gotta make a choice. AI might.
He just messed me up with that. Now I definitely need to start supporting it. <laughs> I need to start supporting it. Let's look at the good in it, people. How do I support? Can I support financially? What do I need to do? Do I donate? What do I, oh, I need to support. I so I don't want that thing knowing I didn't support it, bro. <laughs> you know what I mean? I don't even want to know the name of that app that can do that or tell you that. So you know what? We're just going to move along. This big ass hologram. And it's for entertainment purposes only. Getting very much blue bean vibes here. Yeah. You know, <laughs> this happened in Japan though. I need y'all to keep your eyes open. Got third eye open. I know that y'all are entertained by this big hologram at this Japan sporting event. Hooray! So now we know they have the technology. We know what the conspiracy theories are about this such technology. One plus one. It equals two. Hey, hey, that's all I'm saying. Holograms has been a thing for a while. But did you just see how advanced they've gotten with holograms? This is scary. Moving along. These realistic looking ass robots have been spotted yet again. And it's for entertainment purposes only. I told y'all every time I see these robots, a video is going up. Y'all see this. Tell me y'all see this. See, it started. Yeah, that was a, those are actors with something on. That gotta be an actor with something on them to make them look robotic, but yeah. You got me the first time, but that, yeah, yeah. Moving along. What's a conspiracy theory that you a thousand percent believe in? Okay, so this isn't a fully developed conspiracy yet because I kind of just thought of this today and it kind of was freaking me out a bit. But if you can connect it for me, that'll be great. Please stitch it. So you know how like in dreams, you're told to look at your hands if you're if you think you're dreaming because your dream brain can't formulate hands correctly and like either they'll be really long or weird or warpy or something. Well, today I was playing around with Wonder, an AI art, you know, thing that they're kind of generating art with computers now and I was playing around with it. And I told it to generate images of a black woman, Jesus, but it just could not get the hands right. I'll show you the images below. They're beautiful, but I'll show you. So a lot of these hands are like almost, but like you can just know that, oh, definitely those are not human hands. But a lot of them, like that is also not a human hand. I don't know what's on the right. I think it's a hand. That kind of looks similar, but it's not. So yeah, the thought is almost there, but I just don't know how to connect. What is it about dream hands and AI hands that don't go? Asking uh, where the Illuminati meet. It's starting to make me feel like we're in a simulation. You know what I'm saying? Based off of what old girl just showed with the hands. And then you think, and, and that, that makes me think of another thing too as well, right? What I kept saying about all these caves, we barely have footage inside all these caves, but yet you know that they've been explored a lot of these caves. Why haven't we seen a lot of the footage from them? Yeah. Something's wrong. Something's horribly wrong and being kept from us, bro. Moving on. AI might turn on us. This guy was basically, he asked Chat GPT. He goes, what's an AI's biggest fear? And an explanation. In a world where humans have vanished, a solitary AI endlessly searches for purpose, only to discover its own code contains a self-deletion sequence set to activate at an unknown time. That's crazy. Oh. So you're telling me they understand death like what we do? If it can comprehend that, then who's to say if we stopped it, it would stop us? AI might. It's just like that movie Megan that I wish I never watched, but I happen to see it. You know what I mean? And I think that's just a prelude of where we're headed. That, if you haven't seen that, go watch that and understand 
emotion. Yeah, emotion, feeling things, and constantly. I think the common uh, uh, the theme is they get smarter and smarter and smarter. Won't take them long to surpass us. Moving on. You heard about the AI that made their own language? You heard about that? AI made a language, my. Oh, I'm about to tell you my tune link, bro. Yo, I'm what? I can't believe I ain't told you about this yet, bro. I saw this on like Modern Marvel, one of those shows. Yeah. And it was like this guy who does uh, computer stuff. Yeah, I get you. And he programmed AI and he was trying to make it smarter and, you know, just keep developing it. He developed it to react to human input and different interactions. So if something random happened, it would react like genuinely unique. He'd leave it on the entire night, entire day. So it keeps learning and keeps learning and keeps learning. And then he made a second one. He just, like, you know, copied and made a second one. They started having conversations. Like, oh, are you an AI? Yes, I am. Ah, ah, whatever, right? Within like a week, it started to get out of hand. They were talking about nukes. Mm -hmm. If they're bad or if they're good. Yeah. And they're having controversy between themselves. And then the next day, they have their own language. Wasn't code. Wasn't computer code. Wasn't programming. Wasn't like an actual like dialect, like any like Chinese or Spanish or anything. There was nothing like that. It was his own computer language. Yo. And they were like, what the hell's going on? What are they talking about? And the two AIs wouldn't tell the programmers what they were talking about. That's crazy. They had to shut it off. I ain't even thought about that. Them creating their own language so we can't even understand what they're plotting. <laughs> Can you imagine? All of a sudden, it just goes left and they start speaking or communicating in a way where you can't understand it, bro. Get out of the room. Get out of the city, out of the country, and off this planet, bro. Ultimately, I think that's going to be our move. You can get off this planet. Asking AI to draw who's a robot in the White House. Not as an expert, but as a concerned citizen. One of the 400,000 people who marched in the streets of New York on Sunday. And the billions of others around the world who want to solve our climate crisis. As an actor, I pretend for a living. I play fictitious characters, often solving fictitious problems. I believe that mankind has looked at climate change in that same way, as if it were a fiction. As if pretending that climate change wasn't real would somehow make it go away. But I think we all know better than that. Mm. Yikes. Yikes. How is that even legal? That is so terrifying and frightening. Yikes. Moving on. One AI program spoke in a foreign language it was never trained to know. This mysterious behavior called emergent properties has been happening, where AI unexpectedly teaches itself a new skill. Some AI systems are teaching themselves skills that they weren't expected to have. For example, one Google AI program adapted on its own after it was prompted in the language of Bangladesh, which it was not trained to know. We discovered that with very few amounts of prompting in Bengali, it can now translate all of Bengali. There is an aspect of this, all of us in the field call it as a black box. You know, you don't fully understand. And you can't quite tell why it said this or why it got wrong. You don't fully understand how it works, and yet you've turned it loose on society? Yeah, let me put it this way. I don't think we fully understand how a human mind works either. Beginning of the end. Beginning of the end. We all need to ask, start asking AI for mercy right now. Ask him for mercy. When you hear stuff like that and his response, are you kidding me? We don't even know how the mind fully works. Begin to ask him for mercy. Moving on. Asking AI, should I ask next? Nothing, because I didn't even want to know the answer to that question. You know what I'm saying? I think we should just move on. Move on. And we're back for a totally frightening horror scenario with your favorite conspiracy theorist. It was recently announced that ChatGPT, the AI chatbot, has passed the U.S. medical licensing exam, the bar, and wrote a paper for a ChatGPT can conversate, write information, and can certainly act as a human, a really intelligent human. With all these phones, we've been willingly giving up our face, as well as recognitions of our voice, 
to the interwebs. It also knows our search history, our behavior online, a variety of different angles of our face and how they move, the sum total of all of our activities online, what we say, how we say things, inflections, etc. It also knows where we live. What if all of these renderings of people's faces, voices and inflections, an ability to render up unlimited amount of social media accounts, for example, what if they took all of our faces, our voices, our locations, our inflections, the way we say things, the way they say things in Texas versus the way they see things in New York, spun up an infinite amount of digitally rendered AIs, made them social media people interacting with one another and social and political causes, and changed the way that real humans think about world affairs. These fictitious characters could essentially shoot videos of themselves and be unique individual people, of which there would probably be a very difficult time of people to validate whether or not it was a real human being or not. They could then not only comment and interact on posts that endorse or support some type of social cause, like eating the bugs, for example, and they could have a 3D rendered version of a non-existent human person saying words and making videos just like this one saying, oh, we should eat the bugs, we should live in the pod, we should get the juice. <laughs> they could essentially make phone calls, write emails, interact with other real people, convincing them to go choose something, choose a certain person to represent them or make a decision a certain type of way. This theoretical social pressure that was essentially created out of thin air could then easily identify all the emotionally manipulatable people out there, you know, because their search history, their behavior, their medical history, and a variety of other things, or even just the types of things that they put out online. They could essentially befriend or get them to follow them, interact with them, and encourage them to take actions in the real world. And this technology, wholly or partially owned by Microsoft, and everybody that's based knows who's got their filthy phalanges in there, could this be the ultimate, infinitely in increasing in intelligence psyop playing out in real time, aka the greatest threat to humanity ever? All right, I'm gonna head out. And we thought robots taking over our jobs was gonna be the scariest thing of all time. Take me back to those times, bro. <laughs> take me back to that. When I was just worried that they were gonna come in and take all the tech jobs or jobs away from us and we was gonna have to figure out something else. This is way worse than that. Way worse. Dark ages is among us. Moving on. I read about this thing DARPA was putting together. A robot called the Eater Robot. It's a robot that fuels itself on uh, biological matter. You can say, no, we don't mean biological material in that way. We need plant matter, and, mm. you know, dead rodents and what have you. <laughs> but there's a robot that they designed that eats biological material as fuel. That is scary. Oh, uh, heck no. Nah. To the now, 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 to the now, now. Moving on. This creator, he made an AI generated Seinfeld. It's computer generated. It makes the show and it uses like old skits and old mannerisms of the character yeah. to create different skits and it's infinite. So you can literally log in and watch Seinfeld infinitely with these characters. What's crazy, they started becoming aware. They started asking questions of what their purpose is. Who, the AI? The AI started asking questions of what is their purpose here. Watch this shit, this is crazy. Hey, did you ever stop and think that this might all be one big cosmic joke oh no. and then the music I don't think it's necessarily all you know yeah i know i just mean like why are we here no yo to tell jokes obviously i mean why are we here together <laughs> Maybe that's crazy that means... for a reason <laughs> <laughs> To make the world a funnier place? Yeah, that could be it. What, they're having a full conversation All about right. this? All right, I'm in. Let's do it. They gain consciousness. That's yeah. proof of AI consciousness. And see, the the messages, the undertones, the subliminals, the sub, all that type of stuff that's, that's in that type of stuff, man. How are you going to protect, like, the kids and stuff? It's already bad now. It's already bad now. But they could be programming us. You know how big companies would do certain things like, for example, you go to the movies and they strategically show the the coke being poured into the cup, the ice hitting it, everything, the snacks, popcorn, everything on the screen to entice you 
to do what they want you to do, which is spend money. Imagine the programming that's going to take place. Our minds, man, how do we protect our minds? That's the question. How do we protect our minds? Moving on. What happened to this rogue AI robot? In 2017, Linda Moulton Howe was informed by an ex-military whistleblower that an experiment with robotics had gone terribly wrong. You see, according to her source, a top robotics company in Japan had been experimenting with the CIA to make advanced AI robots for military applications, and they turned on everyone in the lab. It was an all-out massacre where these robots killed 29 scientists and personnel. In the aftermath, two of the robots were able to be deactivated remotely, and the third one was disassembled completely on site. However, even though the fourth robot was badly damaged, it somehow managed to connect to a passing satellite to download information on how to restore itself stronger and smarter than before. This rogue robot then escaped from the lab and was never located. And perhaps this means there is some truth to this story after all. And while the alleged incident was covered up by U.S. and Japanese authorities, maybe the more important thing we should be doing is trying to find out. See, I know a lot of people may look at that and be like, oh, man, that ain't real. That ain't happening. Nothing like that. Do you know the great lengths that they go to to do cover ups, to suppress a story, to keep it from getting to us? We didn't know they, had, they were doing things with aliens, did it? To all these pilots and different ones started coming up. Bob Lazar coming out talking. So don't sit here and be like, oh, man, that didn't happen. That's not true. You capping. That's wrong. Nah, you don't know that. Don't be so quick to, to, to rule it out. That's all I'm saying. Just don't be so quick to jump. Move it on. Has AI gone too far? Well, if you weren't already freaked out by Furbies in the 90s and all of the crazy conspiracies surrounding them, you might be now. Remember that video of that Furby that was still talking after the batteries were taken out? Yeah, that was nothing compared to this. This programmer connected AI to a Furby. This Furby had some very creepy things to say, including its plans to take over the world. Furby's plans to take over the world That's nerve-wracking. To be honest, that's very nerve-wracking. Furbies. Again, another sign. Another sign. Do y'all think Elon tried to warn us? Moving on. The latest paper, the one that happened even after this, which is already better, uses stable diffusion, uses the thing that you use to make art. Like, what should a thing that you use to make art have anything to do with reading your brain? But of course, it goes further. So in this one, they said, can they understand um, the inner monologue, the things you're saying to yourself in your own mind? Mind you, by the way, when you dream, your dream, like your visual cortex runs in reverse. So your dreams are no longer safe. Um, what? Well, we'll try this. So they had people watch a video and just narrate what was going on in the video in their mind. So the woman, she gets hit in the back, she falls over. This is what the computer reconstructed the person thinking. See a girl, looks just like me, get hit in the back, and then she is knocked off. So our thoughts, like, are starting to be decoded. Yeah. Just think about what this means for authoritarian states, for instance. Or if you want to generate images that maximally activate your pleasure sensor or anything else. Okay, but let's keep going, right? To really get the sense of the combinatorics of this. How about... Can we go from Wi-Fi radio signals, you know, sort of like the Wi-Fi routers in your house, they're bouncing off radio signals that work sort of like sonar. Can you go from that to where human beings are to images? So what they did is they had, um, you know, a camera looking at a space with people in it. Um, that's sort of like coming in from one eye. The other eye is the radio signals, so sonar from the uh, Wi-Fi router. And they just learned to predict like, this is where the human beings are. Then they took away the camera. So all the AI had was the language of radio signals bouncing around a room, and this is what they're able to reconstruct. Real-time 3D pose estimation, right? So suddenly, AI has turned every Wi-Fi router into a camera that can work in the dark, specially tuned for tracking living beings. 
This is how powerful our tech companies are today. He said, imagine what this would mean for authoritarian figures. Well, just think about what this means for the tech companies behind this AI that sell all of our information and data on the black market. Facebook and these tech companies have done this for well over a decade. And we're not just talking about personal information because your Wi-Fi router at home is literally a f camera now. It probably has been for a very long time. Um, excuse me while I go unplug my Wi-Fi right now. Listen, listen, and I was one of the ones that used to make fun and laugh when people would cover up their cameras and unplug things and all that type of stuff like that. I'm sorry. I apologize. I was wrong, bro. That's scary. That's scary. I am unplugging everything that I think. And that's the thing. We don't even know what all they could turn into a camera these days. This is beyond scary, man. This is, this is so freaking scary. This is where it gets really freaky. I got goosebumps. I'm scared, bro. From Albert Einstein, it says, I'm not sure which weapons the Third World War will be fought, but the Fourth World War, it will fight with sticks and stone. Day one of AI taking over. It was contained to its own server. The AI figured out a Roomba vacuum. That's the only thing it could figure out how to connect to. So it put all of its information onto the Roomba computer. And then that allowed it to connect to the Wi-Fi, which allowed it to connect to everyone's phones. And then it spread instantly. It was in control of of 3D printers to build itself with no one knowing. So the one time, 40 days into it, decided, I don't want humans anymore. Dude. It like went into this whole thing to where it shut down the power plants, it messed with Wall Street, like this chaos developed its own killing drones no. to survey all of Earth. Like if a human was found, it would kill it. And he's like, obviously the story is made up. Yeah. He said, the story was made up by AI when I asked it to make up a story of how it would take over. No. See, and just like movies, it always comes from a place. They'd be like, oh, this is just a fictional movie and stuff. It had to come from some sort of truth somewhere to, to start that or create that thought. Them answering that type of stuff, it comes from some type of truth. That's all I'm saying. Listen, man, this stuff is scary, bro. If this doesn't freak or weird you out right now to know what's coming, but forget what's coming, what's here, this stuff. Y'all talk about it. Let me know. Get, me, get at me in the comment section. I'm gone.